Friday night, September the 16th, 2022, and I'm packing for my pilgrimage to Santiago de Compostela in Galicia, Spain. It is a tradition at my school that all seniors begin their final year of school by embarking on the Camino de Santiago, the way of St. James. Four days of walking, a total of 135 kilometers to reach our destination. We have been told to pack light. A bulky and heavy backpack will hold you back, but to be prepared for changing weather, lightweight shoes, a jacket, rain poncho, blisters, and sore feet, plenty of socks, extra shoes, bandages, antiseptics, and physical exhaustion, dried fruits and nuts, cereal, bars, extra water bottles. I look in my compact backpack and I think it is going to be a long night. As I settle into the task at hand, carefully packing, unpacking, and readjusting items, trying to make them fit, it all occurs to me that we do the very same thing in life. And the pack pack that we carry on our journey must also be packed light so that it is easy to carry and it too must be equipped with everything we will need to successfully face the unexpected to be prepared for anything that comes our way and this got me thinking what do I have in my backpack? first time I consciously chose to pack an, an item to pack was in first grade. I remember in my t as I listened to my teacher stressing the importance of good behavior. My interest uh, was brighter on the transparent yo-yo with flashing lights, which would be given to the student who received the most merits at the end of the month. I had a goal and I planned to work diligently towards achieving it. And I did. That feeling of success was so fulfilling, so gratifying that it marked the path I, that I would fall from there on out. I was 12 when I made a deliberate switch of items in my backpack. I had been playing soccer forever. We all did. It is the sport of choice here in Spain. So many were surprised when I decided to take up rugby instead. My decision was based on finding a sport that not only matches my physical abilities and potential, but more importantly, it reflects who I am. In rugby, there are no superstars, but victory and defeat are owned by the team with an intense spirit of camera hate. I have been playing on a federated level for the past five years, and all the values that are embodied in the sport integrally integrity, passion, solid, solidarity, discipline, commitment, and respect have found a permanent home in my backpack. There came a time when I realized that some was missing. I was unable to put a name to it, but I would reach for it in certain situations, and it was not there. My decision to do ninth grade of high school abroad in New Jersey led me to discover what it was. I had to put, I had to learn to put myself out there for people outside my circle get to know me. I had to open up to myself and making new connections and brace myself for possible rejection by stepping out of my comfort zone. This experience marked a before and after my life for which I'll be internally grateful. It is 1 a.m and I have finally finished packing. A tight fit, but I have everything I'll need. As for my other backpack, I do a quick mental check, a goal-oriented drive, actions coherent with my character, the ability to open myself up and to learn from new and enriching experiences and other items carefully tucked in there. Am I prepared for what lies ahead? I believe so, and the best part is I left so much room for so much more.